comment pic, and this is from my friend Kathy, and yes, I just put on makeup since the last video, <laughs> and you're saying, why does it bug some people when we don't follow a certain denomination? I get confused looks when I say I follow Jesus. Very good question. That started way back when Jesus ascended to heaven, when Jesus sent the disciples out. And Paul had to go and correct people and get them back on track. It started back then. So the devil knew division would separate and keep people from truth. So this started 1 Corinthians chapter 3. Look at it yourself and then I'll do a whole page so you can read it to, so that you can see I did not take this out of context. Paul was saying to them, he had already taught them. They were already supposed to have been growing in the word of God, and they were not. Remember, 1 Corinthians 3. He comes back to them, and he reprimands them as baby children. He says, oh, my stars, what in the world? I fed you milk. When I left, you had enough milk to grow and to start eating meat of the word, but you're still a baby since I came back. You didn't grow spiritually at all. As a matter of fact, some of you are saying this horrific thing. Y'all are saying, I am of Apollos and or I am of Paul. And he says, who is Paul and who is Apollos except servants of the almighty God sharing God's holy word? Why are you saying you're of this denomination and I'm of this denomination? Paul and Apollos are nothing except messengers of God. That's like saying I'm Baptist, I'm Catholic, I'm Methodist, I'm Protestant, I'm this, I'm that. You are children and you're dividing yourselves is what he says. And he, oh, he gets on their case big time. Spank, spank, right? So here we are. He's reprimanded. And I, brethren, could not speak to you as spiritual, but as unto carnal, as unto babes in Christ. They were still babies. And I fed you milk with not solid food, right? For until now, you're still not able to receive it. And even now you're still not able to, he says, right? For when one says, I'm of Paul, and another says, I'm of Apollos, are you not carnal? Oh my goodness, that's a bad thing. You're being, you're divisions, right? For where there are envy and strife and divisions among you, are you not carnal and behaving like mere men? For when one says, I'm of Apollo, and the other says, I'm of Apollo, aren't you uh, carnal? Who then is Paul? Who is Apollos? But the ministers through whom you believed as the Lord gave to each. I planted, Apollos watered, but God gave the increase. So then neither who plants is anything. Like, don't say you're of Paul's church or you're of Apollos church or Baptist or Catholic church. You're of the holy church of God is what he's saying. And nor for, you know, so neither who plants is anything, nor he who waters, but God who gives the increase. Now who plants and he who waters are one, one in Christ, and each one will receive his own reward according to his own labor. For we are God's fellow workers, and you are God's field, and you are uh, God's building. He even went on to say, I am so glad I didn't baptize any of you, lest anybody boast that I'm the one that did it. He said, these are the ones I baptized. As if there's anybody else, I'm not for sure. But thank goodness I didn't because you would be boasting about me. That is a horrible place to be, isn't it? So you asked a very good question. And it started way back then. And the word of God tells us in James chapter 1 what denomination is the only denomination that is ordained by God. And if any church has told you otherwise, they have lied to you even if it was unintentional. So this is what James 1 says for, straight from the holy word of God. Here's James chapter 1, whole page, pause to read. Coming down to verse 26, if anyone among you thinks he's religious and does not bridle his tongue, but deceives his own heart, this one's religion is useless. Pure and undefiled religion before God and the Father is this, pay attention, to visit orphans and widows in their trouble and to keep oneself unspotted from the world, period. Then it goes to chapter 2. So division, strife, 
reviling started back then. He tried to correct them, but look what happened again. People are still doing it today, not following the Holy Word of God. We've even got the largest denomination that I know of telling people that they're the only ones that's going to heaven. That is an absolute abomination to tell someone that because the word of God is the final authority. If you're sitting under any denomination that says we're the only ones going to heaven, then I would look at the rest of what they've been teaching too and make sure that it's in here because that same denomination has done many things that this word says an abomination. I'm not going to mention that name. I think we all know we need to look at the Ten Commandments. If they can't even get the first two or three right, then there's something wrong somewhere else. We just have to examine our own heart. We need to remove uh, denominations from our lives and put in the Holy Word of God because there is no denomination above the other. If you are using the authority of God, then that is the word that you're standing on. That is the spirit, the sword of the spirit of God that's putting on the whole armor of God. You asked an amazing question. And there's a lot of denominations out there that may get upset with me now because... Like I said, I'm debunking many of the narratives that were placed in front of us because narratives blind us to what we're reading, literally. Go back and look at the one I just posted just a mo moment ago about the basics of Christianity. And if your ch church spoke the narrative that I just debunked, maybe they're wrong somewhere else, even if they're unintentionally. Have a great day and thanks for that question.